and welcome. In this video, we're converting from 6,200 milliliters, 6,200 milliliters to some amount X liters. So we're going from milliliters to liters. And they're telling us again that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So what do we do? Well, here we don't know how, how many how many liters we have, but we do know how how many milliliters we have. So what I think of is okay, if one liter, I could write this as a proportion. For every one liter, we have six oops one thousand milliliters. And again, even though this is a basic problem, I think setting up some kind of proportion can prevent you from choosing the incorrect answer here. So if one liter gives us 1,000 milliliters, we want to know how many liters do we get when we have 6,200 milliliters. And then I look at this proportion here and just look for a comparison that I can use. One that I could use is if I take 1,000 and multiply it by 6.2, I get 6,200. So because this is a proportion, right? this fraction equals this fraction, so I need to do the same to the numerator. So 1 times 6.2 will give us the mystery amount of liters. And what is 1 times 6.2? Well, that's, that's just 6.2, and that's the answer. 6.2 liters will give us 6,200 milliliters. But also, we could have just looked um, from the numerator to the denominator, or the other way around. And realize that to go from a liter to milliliters, we have to multiply by a thousand. Or to go from a milliliters to a liter, one liter, we have to divide by a thousand, right? Because one to a thousand is one times a thousand. And then in the reverse process, denominator to numerator, one thousand divided by one thousand gives us one. So the same thing has to happen here, because these this is a proportion, these, these two fractions are equal. So I could have just took 6,200 and divided it by 1,000, just as I did right here. And that would work as well. 6,200 divided by 1,000 would move our decimal point one, two, three times. And that's 6.2. All right, hope that helped.